I'm going to show you how to easily transfer soul using any coding language. To do so, you can use our API. So go to docs.theblockchainapi.com, go to Solana Wallet, and then transfer soul, a token or an NFT to another address. Um, so we're going to follow this soul example. First, let me go over the parameters. So this is to basically give access to whatever wallet you're transferring from. And then this is the uh, address of the token that you're transferring. So this could be the NFT or, um, or you know, the serum, for example. Um, and if you are not transferring one of those two things, then the default is sole. So just don't supply any address, as you'll see. And the network that you're transferring on, default is DevNet. And then who you're transferring to and how much. Um, you're transferring. Okay, so the default's one, and this is a, a string. Okay, so let's transfer some soul. Um, to do so, we're going to install the blockchain API. So if you don't have it, all, so we're going to use a Python wrapper first. Okay, and then we're going to install that with pip install the blockchain API. I already have it installed. Uh, no, you don't have to use Python. This is just a wrapper for the API to make it easier to use. You can use any language. So um, same thing, you know, just look at look uh, at the docs and look at whether or not it's a, uh, a post request into which endpoint and, and that sort of thing. Okay, so first, um, let's just, uh, from the blockchain API, let's import um, the blockchain API resource in, in this network. Okay. Let's just import those things. We'll, we'll need them later. Okay, and um, if you look here, there's uh, headers. Okay, and in the headers, we have to provide an API key ID and API secret key. You can get them for free here. Okay, so just create a new key. We'll just uh, copy paste this here. All right, so let's then say resource equals. So this will initialize the resource. The resource is just a class that contains any functions we need. And uh, we put in the um, API keys first because um, we're gonna need to put them in the headers for every single API call. And so it's easier to just initialize a class with this and then the class that we wrote in Python, the wrapper, will include those headers. Okay, so first let's just create a new wallet. Okay, and... Oh. <laughs> okay. So let's say secret key equals... Okay. Um, yeah, because every if we if we just call this every time, it will keep creating a new one. We we can just use that, right? Okay. So now we're going to get the public key because we're we're going to need to airdrop fake soul on the devnet to this new wallet, and then we're going to transfer that. So in order to do that, we have to first get the public key so that we can call the airdrop function. Let's see. So we'll just write this pretty quickly. Get balance. And uh, we're gonna, you know, obviously do this on the devnet. And we're gonna want it to see the balance in the soul, it'll just be easier to understand. Okay. So we're just going to print it before and after the airdrop. Great, so we have 0 0.015 sold, okay, in this wallet. Okay, this seed phrase is just using the default derivation path and pass phrase. If you don't know what that is and how that works, we have another video on that. Just look at how to derive public key. Look at that video. Okay, so... The default wallet for this has this balance. Now we're going to transfer it. So there is a transfer fee. 
So remember I said it was a string, right? So we can't actually transfer that much soul. We have to minus the transfer fee. So just to be safe, let's just uh let's just put in about that much and that should be enough to transfer. Okay. So now let's just write the function. Oops. What else do I need? Recipient address, right? I just, I think, I, yeah, the network. Let's just make sure, even though it is the default step now, let's just put that. And then the recipient address. Let's put that for now. Okay, and, and the amount. All right. So we're going to use the wallet I have over here. So I'm on the DevNet already. You can change your wallet to the DevNet by going to change network, DevNet. Okay, so this is fake soul. So I'm at 3.80311 soul. 3.80311. So for it's that's what it is before. And then I don't know why it says public keys. And we'll say print result. Okay, and so we can see that we'll probably have the transaction signature, I believe. Oh, whoops, it's saying unknown error. So you can see, is the recipient address valid? It's not, okay. I forgot to copy and paste the address. All right. Great, so this is a transaction signature. Uh, you can see here, look at that. We now have 3.81. 711. So 3.81711. Yep, and that's, you can see that's 14, right? Added. And we can also look up the uh, transaction by going to explorer.slama.com, typing in the transaction. Well, going to the right network first. Um, yeah, so, and then it's saying, yep, minus point. So, it takes from this wallet that we've created minus point one four zero 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 five because a five is that that's the transaction fee and then it adds that much okay from address to address pretty simple cool you just transferred soul all right thanks so much let me know any feedback comments suggestions uh, in the comments have a great day